Tuesday so I'm gonna make this intro real short because as you can tell I haven't done a vlog in a minute and I'm trying to do them more often um, which means they need to be a little shorter so I'm more inclined to um, you know edit them quicker so um, like I mentioned it's been a minute but my shop it reopened on um, April 9th so it's been like two weeks now um, and I'm so thankful and humbled by the many of you that have been purchasing from the shop. Like uh, the first two days, like the Garnet top, like that sold out, which was cool to see because I've never had that happen before. Um, and the Zora top is going to probably sell out pretty soon too because I'm pretty low on stock with that one as well. Which if you like that one, you know, make sure to act on that before it's too late. So um, for today, I'm actually um, finishing up one of the Zora tops. Um, and then I'm also going to finish up an order for the loose incense kit. We'll start it. But um, because I already made a batch, a big batch of it um, this weekend because I had some pickup orders. So all I got to do really is just, you know, put the labeling on it and then package everything up. So going to do that and then also um, I'm excited because this is um, I'm doing collaborations with um, four different um, content creators which is cool because this is my first time doing that with Morgan E. Liz and then to do it with people that I just really love you know their content and who they are is really dope so um, I'm doing some tops for them and then I also um, I want to play around with making my own um, charged uh, room slash linen spray because um, which some people mentioned this in the reviews uh, which is nice to know that they noticed that but I like to add a little bit of good juju uh, uh, bless every piece that I ship out and so um, I'm sorry I don't know why I keep looking there but I like to bless every piece that I ship out and so um, I use this spray that I bought from a metaphysical shop called palmistry on Etsy which I'll link below um, and I ran out of it and I'm still going to buy some from her, but I would like to also, you know, out of curiosity, just make my own. So I'm going to play around with that. And then even if I like it so much to the point that I think maybe y'all will be interested, I might even put it on my shop as well. So, you know, we'll see what happens. apartment studio whatever you know it's a lot of things at once <laughs> tour since I haven't done one and recently within at least since the last time I did a vlog I've done a lot of changes in my apartment that I'm very happy with so 
right here is where I do all my work at. I actually got this table last week from the thrift stores, like 20 bucks. And I love that it also um, folds since, you know, my apartment is very small. So I love to get pieces that I can put away if I need more space to do, you know, whatever it is. And then um, over here are my plants. I know the Monstera, she's looking real sad right now, but it's okay, we're working on her. <laughs> and then um, I use these apple crates as kind of like my makeshift um, plant stand of sorts. And then the other two plant stands are from Joann's. Um, this actually goes to my bathroom, which there is a door behind this fabric, but I put the fabric up because the door honestly is kind of ugly. And I also like using it to take photos. And then here, um, is my bookshelf I also put some of my fabric here as well and then this mirror that I got from Amazon and this snake plant I'm not going to show the top of my bookshelf only because my altar is up there but I got this wicker chair that has grown on me over the years that I got from because I love wicker but I wasn't super in love with this shape but over time I really have grown to like it but um from the thrift store as well alongside this dresser is also from the thrift store um she definitely needs some work as you can tell there's like a lot of like water damage and scratches but the dresser was like 20 dollars, and i figured you know i can you know take some time one weekend to rehab her later and then another snake plant i actually got from cvs it's my closet it's a whiteboard area that i'm thinking of replacing with like a floating clothing rack and then I got this mirror from Target. And then everything on my wall is, if it's not, if I didn't make it, um, which I'll show like one of my prints is over here on the left-hand side. If I didn't make it, it's from the thrift store. Pretty much just assume that most of the things in my apartment are from the thrift store. Um, and then I built this uh, last weekend because when I got that new table, I needed to figure out a better way to organize everything when it comes to supplies for Morgan Lays. And so um, mostly this shelf is really kind of just dedicated to um, packing, well not packing, but materials for labels for the incense. Um, I have like my paper for my art prints in there and then some of my fabric and then supplies for the waist chains, which I, this is the one that's currently on my site. And then I'm working on some new concepts too which I got these really beautiful, even though they're much smaller than I'd imagined, but I'm gonna still play with them. I got these really beautiful um, evil eye charms uh, yesterday. And so ignore the trash, <laughs> but over here is my bed that honestly, um, cause I do plan on moving at the end of this year. So I'm gonna keep this bed frame for now. But I should have went the, with um, a different bed frame that I saw because this one's okay, but it's definitely like, <laughs> uh, it's not something that you keep with you for a long time. And so I put like some, um, which the battery needs to be replaced, but I put like some fairy lights up here and then some fake ivy from Amazon. And then um, like this is one of my prints from last year that I got blown up to put on this clipboard, which also, you know, a great way to show your prints when maybe you can't find the exact frame are getting these artist uh, clipboards, which I got this one on Amazon and I paid like $12 for it. And I got this other beloved print that I will never ever get rid of. I had to fight for this at the thrift store. It's like a vintage um, DC Metro map. <laughs>
Wednesday. It's like one something. Honestly, I got like maybe 50% of the things that I had planned on finishing yesterday done. And honestly, like I had to deal with some last minute stuff with the project for work. And then um, I also um, am doing like a website for a client, a freelance client. I had to do some stuff with that. And then also some stuff with the space that I'm subleasing, which eventually not now because i want to wait until kind of like that chapter with this space has closed but um i want to do like a story time not just about that space but but about all of the spaces i have leased over the past couple of years since um you know commercial spaces is such like a it can be such an interesting process <laughs> And I feel like maybe, you know, there might be some of you who are looking to lease a commercial space, buy a commercial space, um, you know, down the line or now or wherever it may be that might be, you know, might be able to learn from, you know, some of my experiences. So I want to do that down the line, not right now. But that aside, you know, I decided to just kind of take it slow for the rest of the evening. I ended up just watching um, some of Warren's stories, which is this documentary, mini documentary series on um netflix and basically like, it's it's cool like i like it oh i like documentaries but like um they have these different people talk about garments in their wardrobe and the stories behind them um you know the experiences that they've had while wearing those pieces so um i'm gonna finish the rest of that today while i'm working but since my meeting got canceled <laughs> For work, I'm going to um, use that time to um, work on a few things. Like for today, because I'm trying to make my goals for today more achievable, um, so I don't stress out when it's not fully accomplished. But I want to cut the fabric for the garnet orders, um, cut the fabric for the in the the um, content creators uh, slash uh, influencer collaboration orders, and ideally at least make one of them in its entirety. And then I want to, um, because I got all of the tote bags yesterday, which you kind of saw, but um, the tote bags yesterday, um, and I already have the vinyl all up and ready for them. Um, I want to make all of the growth in the Black Joy totes too. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> for today and then you know depending on how things go I might do a couple other things too so So it's actually been like a week and a half since I shot all of this and whatnot. And the reason for it, as you can um, kind of see in a second, like this is only just like a portion of it, but this past month is the most amount of orders I've ever had like in um, a four week period, which I'm like so thankful for. Like it was about 30 orders. So naturally, you know, real preoccupied trying to sew and get everything together and manage you know my personal life and my day job and clients and whatnot but um 
Oh, sorry for the notification, y'all. But um, <laughs> that aside, you know, um, thank you for watching this vlog. You know, of course, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I've been going to the fabric store and the thrift store a lot lately to kind of prepare for my next drop. So I'm thinking about doing a haul for my next video. But um, that aside, you know, thank you. And I will talk to y'all soon.